As the International Space Station nears its retirement date, NASA and its partners are continuing to work on a future replacement. Back in 2020, the agency picked Axiom Space, a company based in Houston, to build commercial space station modules and attach them to the ISS. In the last few years, they have been busy and are making fast progress on the first segment. Just recently, we got more information on the exact progress, upcoming tests, and the expected future launch date. The plan is to consistently manufacture and launch these next generation modules in space, attach them to the ISS one by one, and then disconnect them before the ISS retires, and when the new station is fully independent. Here I'll go more in depth into the new company update, Axiom's plan, what to expect in the coming months, and more. A few days ago, Axiom shared more information on the station and its current progress. This included both specific updates and footage of the development and manufacturing process. In one quote, Matt Onler, the Axiom president, said, The pressure vessel is undergoing welding at Talazellinia, our partner in Italy. They're some of the largest forgings in the world. There's only a couple places in Europe that could even forge some of the pieces, he said. For a while now, Axiom has been working with this company to create some of the main station structures. Up until now, none of the segments have been shipped back to Axiom as they weren't complete. This, however, is expected to change relatively soon. In another quote, he mentioned, The pressure vessel will arrive in Houston next year, and then we'll do all the final outfitting at our spaceport facility. And in the 50-year history of human spaceflight in Houston, it'll be the first human-rated spacecraft built in Houston, he pointed out. The fact that they expect the pressure vessel to arrive next year is quite significant, as that would mean the bulk of the work is done as far as manufacturing goes. From there, Axiom would complete the initial module before launching it in 2026 to be attached to the ISS. This initial module is named Axiom Hab 1 or AXH 1. It will be outfitted with crew quarters and will feature both research and manufacturing capabilities. Even though Axiom doesn't do the main welding, which they outsource to Talos Alenia, they do pretty much everything else. This includes creating the life support system, guidance and navigation, a propulsion system, etc. The president highlighted Our philosophy is to keep as much engineering in house as possible. It allows us to have long expertise over a long time because we want to be building modules and adding to our space station for years and years. Focusing more on the design, each Axiom module's primary structure features four radial bulkheads to which other space station modules and visiting spacecraft can attach, supporting increased traffic and future expansion. As mentioned prior, the first Axiom module's bulkheads are well into their machining over at Talos Alenia Space's turn facility. Various images from the company highlight the size and strength of these core structures. In addition to these main structures, Axiom wanted to make the station special and feature one of the biggest observing rooms ever sent into space. In various renders and animations, you can see this large 360-degree view room in the cupola. While it looks incredible, it's by no means easy to create and launch such large windows into space. In fact, the eight windows that will make up this observatory will be eight of the largest windows ever constructed for the space environment. Right now, Axiom has created a test unit that continues to undergo increasingly extensive vacuum seal and stress testing to confirm the design meets all leak rate, outgassing, and material deformation requirements. This large viewing room is set to launch on the third mission attached to one of the station's primary segments. Once attached, it will then be moved from the side of the segment to the bottom of Axiom Hab 1, the first module launched. Finally, its window covers will open, revealing the view. Current plans call for the ISS to be retired around 2030. This process will involve purposely deorbiting the massive station to burn up in the atmosphere. This being said, NASA knows it still needs access to LEO. For this reason, among others, they're helping fund and facilitate different commercial projects, including Axiom Station. Fortunately for Axiom, they're the only company with the unique opportunity to attach to the ISS, a process they plan to take advantage of. While dates have changed quite a bit over time and will likely continue to, Axiom has set up a roadmap of station segment launches and completion dates. HAB-1 is the first module which contains living quarters for four crew members and approximately 40 cubic meters of interior volume to accommodate research and manufacturing applications. Inside the module, you can expect glove boxes, microscopes, 3D printers, material testing equipment, and more. Axiom describes it as the nucleus of future human activity in Earth's orbit. Each personal crew quarter is equipped with a large Earth viewing window and a touchscreen comms panel. A docking adapter allows visiting vehicles to dock to Axiom Station. Four radial ports on the hub provide for the addition of future modules and increase the station's docking capability. As the initial module, this feature is especially important. It'll have propulsion, guidance, navigation, and station control systems. The first windowed pressurized module is approximately 11 meters long and 4.2 meters in diameter at the widest part. Next is Axiom's HAB-2 module, which is expected to launch in 2027, a year after HAB-1. It'll provide quarters for an additional four crew members, allowing the station to support up to eight crew. It provides complete ECLSS support, commercial high data satellite communications, 
and a Canada 3 arm styled remote manipulator system for the Axiom station. Some of the features include state-of-the-art next-gen orbital lab equipment, flexible and cost-effective interfaces, and high-bandwidth communication links to onboard research. Axiom offers twice the research volume and features a total of eight radio ports for the docking of visiting vehicles and the addition of further modules. In a lot of ways, the second module is very similar to the first. Next, you have Axiom's research and manufacturing facility module, expected to launch relatively soon after the second module. It provides access to the unique microgravity environment as a platform to conduct innovative research, product development, process improvement, and manufacturing. Finally, you have Axiom's power thermal module, which will provide power and thermal capacity equivalent to that of the ISS, so that Axiom station will be able to support itself once it disconnects from the ISS. It's expected to launch no earlier than 2027. It expands on Axiom station's environmental control and life support capabilities, adds additional storage and payload capability, and provides an airlock to be utilized for EVAs by astronauts on board. It's important to point out, however, that until AXPT is launched, Axiom Station will be relying on the ISS to help provide power. With this final segment installed and working properly, Axiom Station should be capable of operating on its own, separate from the ISS. By the time the power thermal module is set up, it shouldn't be long before the ISS's planned retirement. From here, they would disconnect the station and begin to move it away from the ISS. At that point, Axiom Station would be completely independent and ready to begin its official operations. In a statement highlighting attaching to the ISS, Axiom says, This partnership and strategic connection allows Axiom Space to effectively adopt and service the multinational user base of the ISS National Laboratory to seamlessly continue research and manufacturing initiatives. Axiom Station will host people, research, and manufacturing that will lead development for numerous industries using techniques that are available only in microgravity. The station will also service the rapidly expanding infrastructure and solutions operating in space and provide an accessible platform for private companies and national governments to continue the research and development of breakthrough innovations, they said. Besides physical station progress, Axiom has also been busy working with NASA and SpaceX to send astronauts to the ISS. Only a few days ago, the AX3 mission launched four astronauts on SpaceX's Falcon 9 to the station. In a quote, they said, this mission marks a new era of opportunity for countries to join the international space community and access low Earth orbit to advance exploration and research in microgravity, a process that could become much more common in the coming years. Axiom Space is preparing to receive its first main module structure next year. Once it arrives, it will do some of the final work to get ready to launch in 2026. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.